Hi guys, in today's video we'll be looking at this HP Compact we purchased on Facebook Marketplace for just £10. In this pile of trash we have an i3-2100, 8GB of RAM and an ATI Radeon HD5450 which loses to a GT710 of all things. So you know one of the games we are going to test is Roblox. With that being said, let's test some games. So Roblox does not work on Roblox Player, however the Microsoft Store version should run okay. Now the games I'm testing are going to be Doors and Brookhaven because I don't really play this game that much. So let's just go into Doors here. And here I am, I'm in Doors. And already in the lobby it doesn't feel too good. don't have high hopes for this. I believe I have it on the lowest graphics quality. No, I don't. There we go. Now we're at the lowest graphics quality. And I can't tell if it's running fine. Maybe it will run better once we're in a lobby. Because this is just full of people, so it doesn't run well. Let's just create this lobby, and let's just see what happens. And as you can see, we're in. I'm just gonna go in here. Stop the elevator. Oh God, it's been ages since I played this game. And I can't really see if it's running fine because MSI Afterburner refuses to work is annoying but it looks like it's running okay so for, I mean for £10 it being able to run games at all was like pretty amazing my, me and my friend found this last minute before giving up so yeah pretty cool computer HP Compact, and uh, I think it's just going to stay at this level of consistency. So I'm going to move on to the next Roblox game, which is Brookhaven RP. And I was assuming this game was going to run fine because it's not really much highly graphical things in here, unlike Doors. There's a lot of things that require like a maybe a better graphics card. Not a better graphics card, just a better system. But this, there's basically nothing, so you can just roam around and do whatever. Skateboard. Yeah, I really don't like this game. Where the hell? Oh. Yeah, this system is actually decently quiet for what it is. Some of these older systems, which have a lot of dust collected from, like, over the years, have, like, loads of noise when you turn them on, especially when you game on them. But, you know, this is looking fine. So, don't really have many problems on here. So now, we're going to move on to the next game, which is Minecraft. Which, in our last video, testing the other CPU, ran horribly. So I hope we get maybe a little bit of a better experience here. However, I doubt it. The version I am testing is just going to be the latest version. And for some context for settings, I'm going to be at like around 8 render distance chunks. And the rest of the settings on the lowest. So I'm just going to load up a world here. See if the world takes ages to load or not. Should hopefully not take that long because there is an there is an SSD in here, not a hard drive. So yeah, there we go. And we're in. Oh god, I forgot how horribly this ran. So yeah. I think you guys can see for yourself. This is not playable whatsoever. Like, look at this. Oh, God. 
I think it's just loading in chunks, to be fair. Oh, zero FPS, looking in the top left. Oh. Yeah, I would not recommend this computer if you want to play Minecraft, especially the Java version. Because of this. I think it will smoothen out. Oh, yeah, look, we're getting 30. Oh, no. This is just not, this is not good, is it? Let's fly around. Yep. I mean, this game is demanding on a CPU, and we are using a CPU from, like, 12 years ago, and it's an i3, not even, like, an i7 or an i5, so what did we expect? But this is just, this is just sad. I mean, what can you expect for 10 bucks? Oh, it's getting better. This is not playable, though. It's very choppy. Ah, oh, I don't think that CPU is doing too good. It's overheating. Not overheating, it's just using it quite a bit. The GPU is a piece of trash. Lost in integrated graphics. So I think that's enough Minecraft testing. Overall not playable whatsoever. Next, I think gonna actually do a test of Cinebench R23 for you guys it should load up I'm going to do a multi core test first as you can see we got a multi core score of 1428 now I'm gonna test single core as you can see Cinebench got a single core score of 588 points so next, I am kind of worried for this game, as I am not sure how it's going to run. But it is Fortnite, and we are basically just going to be running this at the lowest settings possible. So I'm just not really sure how this is going to run, and I'm a bit worried, to be fair. But if you want to play Fortnite... Don't buy a £10 PC from Facebook Marketplace with an i3-2100. That's just a that's just bad idea. So anyways, I'm just going to wait for this to load. As you can see here, Fortnite is loaded in. And this is just embarrassing. <laughs> you can't even see a character properly because it's so pixelated. But anyways, here's the settings I'm going to be using for this test. 720p full screen vsync off unlimited frame rates and 10% 3d resolution and the rest is just on low i do not have high expectations for this whatsoever the fps is low on the menu screen that's how you know it's going to be bad anyways i think i'm just going to hop into a game of battle royale just hit play and just see what happens then, then again, I want to say this. Don't buy a £10 PC to play Fortnite. Like, span out your budget. Like, this is just for, like, web browsing and maybe some light gaming. Not things like Fortnite. With that said, let's just connect in. Oh, God. Okay. We're in. Um, it, it doesn't run. It walks. This is... This is really bad. Oh, God. Oh. It was worth a try. Hey, you were in the battle bus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's 40 FPS, I see. This is just embarrassing. This whole screen is pixelated. I can't see anything. Yeah, this, this test is mostly for a joke. I didn't expect much. But this is just, like, come on. I'm definitely going to die. But it is running better than I expected. It's just the resolution is what's making me crack up. Maybe if I increase the resolution a bit, it will look much, much better. Maybe, like, 33... Oh, that's going to take ages to apply. Oh, whoa. Okay, the game actually runs well. What? I did not expect this. 
Okay, this is just a bad spawning location. I somehow got that kill. Yeah, can you tell I don't play this game? Anyways, if you look in the top left, we're getting a choppy 30 FPS. is better than I expected. Wow. So if you want to try and play Fortnite on this thing, and you crank the settings all the way down, it's very playable. Well, it's not very playable. It's just at the bare minimum playable, but I expected worse. What is actually? Oh. I I've seen worse, you know. Let me see what this thing can do. Hold on. I'm gonna push this to the maximum. The max it can probably do. Okay, yeah. I've you can. No, it's still all right. Well, that's just bugs from the Ethernet. But yeah, way better than I expected. I kind of want to see if I can get a kill in this game. So yeah, we're getting like 25-30 shot dips in the 1% lows sometimes, FPS. I'd say that's pretty good. I should probably look at the map. It's probably going to take ages till we get a kill. Is that a person or a tree? Oh! Gunshot towards my way. If we actually get a kill, this is going to be awesome. On top of here. So gunshots this direction. Can't really see people though. Up there. I think I'm just gonna go up here. Oh, you can see the shots being fired. See if we can get a kill here. Wow, these people are farther away than I thought. Oh! Oh, let's go! I actually got a kill on this crappy of a machine. Can I kill this guy? Oh my god, I can... He's like a couple pixels. Guys, I don't think you know how hard this is. I'm using a PS2 mouse. Oh god. Oh. No! Maybe we should use this. Oh, okay, that's where I die. Honestly, that's better than I thought. This runs pretty alright-ish. So I'm just going to leave the game. And yeah. Um, I'm better than I thought. So this last test, I kind of just want to do for fun. Epic Games, stop. So the last test I kind of want to do for one, it's for fun, sorry, it's called WebGL. And uh, it's specifically the fish aquarium one of WebGL. And basically what this is, is just shows you the graphical power of your system. And already this is not, it's not doing well. Let's just start with one fish. What? Why is it getting 3 FPS on only one fish? Yeah, I have a feeling this isn't this isn't doing too well. Okay, hundred fish. Still three FPS. So I locked at three FPS. So it's quite weird. So yeah, the Radeon graphics, as you can see, not very good. How far can we go until we go below three, like two FPS? Ah yes, five thousand, ten thousand. If you want to test this at home, here's the link. I'll probably leave it in the description. But that's up if I remember. I probably won't remember. So yeah. It's a pretty cool test. And that's basically the end of all our tests. So. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.